Hey YouTube, how you doing? So I'm excited. I'm get to go out camping tonight for the first time this year. Pretty much all the snow is melted except for the big piles in the parking lots. So I'm taking my ultralight bag, which I've shown you before. Now the bag came to fully loaded with three meals and two liters of water, 16.57 pounds. Not too bad, but that is counting my this big lime fuel external battery. So that's that's pretty heavy. That's about a pound in and of itself. It's ridiculous. The only thing I added pretty much since I showed you my bag, uh, this case and my eyeglasses clipped on here. Very light. And I made a little survival kit. Got a little money in there and stuff to make fire. And just small survival repair first aid. This is just a combination. So that little kit weighs 0.55 pounds. So I'm just going to wear my Njinji toe socks. Help with prevent blisters. These are nice thick ones. A little warm, but I like the cushioning of them. And I might wear this just uh, so I can take my glasses on and off. And I usually wear this paracord bracelet. It has a compass on it, flint, can opener. Mostly I like having the compass right on my wrist. And even though the can opener is right there close to it, it doesn't really interfere with it. It also has a whistle on it. And this is a little kit that I made I also showed you to keep in my pocket on my person when I'm hiking in case I get separated from my pack. So I'm not going to show you that again, but that's what I'm uh, going to be wearing today. Well, I got my first injury of the season. This fell down and got gored by a tree. So, I got my little survival kit here and that's going to hurt. Alcohol. Antibiotic and those two band aids should do it. Nope, well, better. Oh, here's my tent set up. G packs, Altiplex. It's a one plus tent. There's my seat. Pack sleeping bag, and a pillow and mattress in there. It's gonna get down to like 35 by the morning, so it's gonna get a little chilly tonight. Hey, okay, well, it's only about 7:30, but it's actually feeling kind of cold, so. Uh... I'm getting tucked into my sleeping bag here and stay warm and probably just do some reading or something on my phone. I'm trying to get everything handy here. We don't have really an animal problem here, so I do have the food in my tent. And I guess if you get cold in the middle of the night, uh, if you eat something, it helps get your body warmed up, gets your metabolism going. So I have something to eat and drink next to me here. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a quick summary of my first overnight with some of my new gear. Um, I still kind of need to mess around with how I use a sleeping bag with the Thermarest pad. Um, I'll show you that another time when I get that figured out. Uh, my shoulders were cold, so I think I need to use some of those hot hands or something on them to help keep me warm. I didn't sleep very well at all. Also, another problem I had was the bag. I just could barely fit everything in the bag. Um, you know, I could have used an extra coat or something like that, but it just wouldn't fit in the bag with only three meals in there. This bag was not big enough. I mean, I had three meals in here, my tent sleeping bag, and not much else. But I just couldn't fit anything else. I couldn't fit any extra clothes. So there's no way I could use this bag for more than one night in the summer where I don't need extra clothes. The problem is this V-shaped mesh pocket because it doesn't go through the whole bag. You know, it's very limiting. You really can't fit much stuff in there. And then, when you open it up, like that, anything that is in this pocket falls out. So you have to be careful and make sure you pick it up again before you leave. And these, I tried to put a one liter of water bottles in here. It was tricky to, to stay in, 
I had to strap them down really tight, but still it was awkward, you know, getting the bag to stand up and with those not falling out. So I think I, I have an old bag that I am adapting to be kind of ultralight, and I will show that in another video. Thanks for watching. Take care.